Hi there, welcome to Anne's Face. The first picture was a map of the trail that I've just done across Europe. So I'm going to do a few videos showing the hike. So stick around and hope you enjoy the hike as much as I did with a wonderful group of ladies. We started in St. B's, so I'll kick it off. So good afternoon. Another part of my trip begins not quite the beginning of my hike but I think I'll start the video here because I've now left Ambleside and I'm nearly on the west coast of England so this house that I'm staying in at the moment is called Bikes and Boots and it's an Airbnb in a private people's house so I'm going to stay here tonight I'm just going to go for a walk now and then tomorrow I'm going to be taken to where I'll stay just prior to the coast to coast. So yeah, I'm going to walk to Whitehaven. So come along with me, enjoy this video, which will be different from any other video that I've done because I will be on a guided tour walking across England. So stick around. So I thought, seeing as I was at the Airbnb about midday, I'd take a walk to the coast. So not far from Moor Row, where the Airbnb is, is Whitehaven. And so I've come down to have a look and check out this monument, aptly called the Candlestick. This town originally was a coal mining town, but after a few disasters, the, all the mines have closed down and it's struggling now. Well, it's going to be beginning in uh, 24 hours. So I've just come down to where I'm staying tonight at St. Bees, and that's us where I'm meeting the rest of the group. So, <laughs> yes, very nervous. So I'm going to go for a walk around now, St. Bees, and I'll go down the coast a little bit just sort of using my last time on my own. It'll be 14 days that I'm going to be traveling with this group. So yes, <laughs> definitely very nervous. Off I go. St. Bees itself was a cute little town and the place to really go and visit there is the old church priory, which was just wonderful to pop into and have a look around. It's got a great history there. It's amazing. They actually did an excavation um, not so many years ago. I'll put the year somewhere on this video. And they actually found two bodies. One was in really good condition. The male he had been entombed in a, um, an iron coffin. So this is St. Bees Beach. I think that's where my hike will start. We'll find out in the morning. Then after taking a few photos around this beautiful beach and coastline, I found the trail on the coast to coast path heading south around England. I did just a little bit of it. It's quite interesting the trains that come up this coastline they don't stop at every station unless there's someone actually standing there flagging the train down who would have thought and if you were on the train and wanted to get off you just had to let the custom the um the conductor know and then he'd make sure the train stopped for you i met the group in the evening and in the morning we popped down to the beach picked up a pebble and we were ready to start our hike of a lifetime well that's the first hill of the hike so that's St. Bees behind me I've started the coast to coast with the group and it's actually a group of ladies and Dave the guide some of the ladies enjoying the view you'll meet them as I do the videos across England that's the Isle of Man down there and what's that town there? That's Cleetamore. Okay, cool. So we've just come up our steepest hill of the day on Dent and we've got about 6k to go. So we've done about 16. So it's been a really good day. Beautiful and warm. Really, really very nice walking weather.
and then we're gonna drop down apparently that is really steep and you can just see them disappearing down the hill so here we are end of day one we've done 20.8 kilometers sorry <laughs> so this is our first night after great walking all day Well, good morning. I am on day two of the coast to coast. And look at that sky. That is amazing. Yeah, really warm. It was really warm overnight. Quite unpleasant, actually. Um, but yeah, on the trail, we're going to have some ups and downs today. March is a strenuous day. So hopefully, I feel as good at the end of the day as I do at the beginning. Come along. <laughs> and listen to them all nattering away. Dave and the ladies. Yes, did I mention? Eight ladies and our guide Dave. It's his harem apparently. So it's still going strong, half an hour in, and we've got some hills coming up. Thank goodness we don't go straight up them. Yes, it's too early in the morning for straight up hills. So funny, we've been walking for over a day. This is the real big camera, get it out, take photos spot that we've been to. Um, but it is really pretty. It actually looked quite a different colour when we were looking down. There's rosemary up on the, the fence. Yeah, here comes the group. What was this water called? I can't remember. It's called Lake El, whatever the name of the bridge is, uh, it's called the Annadale, was Annadale it? Water. Ah, there we go. Beautiful spot. After enjoying the beautiful reflections on Lake Annadale, we had to clamber up the rocks. Not so much fun for some of us, but we all managed. So here we are at Robin Hood's chair, just down the road from where we stayed overnight. We've been walking about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. So we've come up from the Innerdale Lake um, through the forest and look at our reward. So pretty. And then the mountains. But we're not going up them, thank goodness. We keep more to the flat. So we've just arrived at a very remote YHA. This is Black Sail YHA don't think I ever saw it when I was looking for somewhere to stay but it's in the middle of nowhere it's our lunch spot we're not staying the night look at this beautiful and sheep up in the hills somewhere it's been a great morning there's no no steep tracks a little bit of clambering clambering rock and that's all but I think after lunch we're going up there somewhere so we all really enjoyed our lunch break here. We took our shoes off, aired our socks out. Oh, it was just nice and relaxing, enjoying those views. So this is a perfect trail since we left the hut, but I'm very confident or cautious or hesitant that it's not gonna stay like this. We've gotta go up that hill. Yeah, oh well, Anne. Enjoy it while you can, cause it's gonna change. Well, still enjoying the uphill climb. Here comes Julia, Evelyn and Dave. And there's my pacer Jane with the blue pack. Like I said, she's brilliant to follow up hills. So we kept enjoying these amazing views as we trudged up the hill. It wasn't too bad. I can say that now. Dave points out all the mountains. I'll never remember them. But there's Annadale down here. Haystack. Grass is somewhere over there. So we make our way up onto this little knoll here. 
This is a beautiful view from there. Yeah. And I'll have a, we'll have a group photo and then we'll make our descent down into sea top. Well, as you can see, I was pretty ecstatic to get to the top of the hill. It was worth it for the views. So, lots of sheep on the trail. And then we've got Buttermere and Crummock Lakes. And then we went down the other side and we stopped for a coffee at a slate mine. We haven't seen many cows, but look at him. He's beautiful. So, 20 minutes till the end of the day, walking through grassy paddocks, very nice on the feet. And there goes the group, happy little group, nearly the end of the day. You can see, shadows are getting long. But this is the weather we've had all day, and considering that showers were forecast, it's been pretty damn good. So a little different this morning when we head off from Oswald. Um, all in our wet weather gear, it's not a good forecast, but we've all got the right gear, so it still should be a good day of hiking from the coast to coast. So I'm sure there's going to be lots and lots of rock walls. There already has been, but they're just so pretty. So much work, so much history. So this trail just went up and up and the wind, weather continued to deteriorate, but we slugged on. has a short breather and then off we go and that's where we climbed up from all the way through that valley and then up here it was poles away clamber 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 up the hill there we go mother daughter combo so this is actually a really good portion of the path this, uh, I think these are slate rocks and the path just goes on and on and on it's brilliant and it makes it so easy and it stopped raining how cool is that so here we are heading in on the trail into Grassmere everyone's weaving their way down and everyone's looking forward to a swim at the accommodation so they've all been talking about it for the last two and a half days. It's a very cute little hut and that's the path that's not for cars. But then Jane's just pointed out this rhododendron flowering totally out of season. Very pretty. And yes, I better catch up otherwise I'll be in trouble. Finally, we arrived in Grassmere. Thank goodness the hotel had a drying room to dry all our wet gear. After dinner, I went for one of my normal little walks around town. So here I am beside the gravestone of Wordsworth. That, of course, is William Wordsworth, the laureate, poet laureate. And so he's buried here at Grassmere along with his wife, and children and other relations. It's a beautiful spot, so peaceful, and it's right next to the Daffodil Gardens, which was a fundraiser here in Grasmere um, back in 1998. So back on the trail after our stop at Grasmere overnight. Late start today, didn't start till 11 o'clock. So a good chance to catch up on some editing. And we've dropped our number by two today, um, just for the day though. So yeah, we'll see what today brings on our hike. And fingers crossed, not too much rain. Well, I walked on my own for a little while there. I had to make an executive decision whether to turn in the gate on my left or go straight forward. Just as well, I went straight forward. Otherwise I'd have lost the group. Actually, they wouldn't have lost me. They were all waiting on the bridge just as well, though, eh? 
So this is probably the most spectacular fall that we've had to cross so far. Everyone's managing really well. So we're actually up in the mist now. And there's Jane going across and Rosemary waiting. And Dave's doing his job of being the guide. As you can see, the weather didn't improve. It was very misty. The trail was very wet, but that didn't spoil it. Wow, this is really cool. Walking through the mist. Can't even see the rest of them. And they're only a little bit further ahead. There's Jane, my trusty pacer. And there they go, heading off, rushing to the next point. I'll meander and look for slugs and bubbles. I'll just walk down there looking at my feet as I've done the most of the morning and then it's like wow there's a lake how cool is that yeah it's all covered in mist I bet it changes from hour to hour would have been amazing on that beautiful sunny day we had but it's good ex to experience like the mist as well. I like the contrasts here for sure. <laughs> and here come Rosemary Rose. Woohoo! Oh, this is so Enjoying adorable. every moment. Another pose. It is the neatest thing. I don't yeah, think anyone's home. You get that. Yeah, look oh, at that. that. That's so where we're stopping for just a few minutes of catching up with the rest of the group. And yes, I'm actually at the front almost this time. I can rock hop down, no problemo. And that's where we were. Up in that mist. So, good afternoon. So, we've checked into our hotel, which is just across the road behind me there. And it is pouring with rain, which it has been virtually all day. So I'm just going for a walk. We're staying in the Oldswater Hotel at um, Glen Riding or Glen Reading, not quite sure, I keep getting it wrong, keep getting corrected. Um, but the pub that we're staying in has flooded a few times. So there's the hotel that I'm staying in, the Oldswater Inn, and there's the river. And it's been closed, I think, twice recently from flood damage so yeah it's a pretty fast river that goes right down the side but look at all those beautiful flowers aren't they lovely unfortunately this hotel didn't have a drying room so we had to struggle to get everything dry but we managed we had a nice dinner in their dining room i noticed the wallpaper on the ceiling and in other areas and then it was time to head off again so that's the end of this video so this is the distance we've traveled so far from st b's a few more pictures from the day though and again thank you for watching my video hope you've enjoyed it and until next time bye for now